Today I'm going to be learning more about Norway by looking at this video's 10 ridiculous facts about Norway. So, can't wait to see this, see what makes these facts ridiculous. If there's any other interesting facts about Norway that you think people out outside of the country should know about, please tell me in the comments. Uh, but yeah, let's watch this. Hey guys, so today I have a list of 10 ridiculous facts about Norway for you. Norway was actually the country that introduced salmon sushi to the Japanese. That sounds ridiculous and impossible to believe, but it's actually true. Before the 1970s, the Japanese rarely made sushi with salmon. It's because it's a fish that's not regularly fished in their waters and they don't have regular access to it. Mm. And in the mid-1990s, the fishing industries in Japan was only 50% self-sufficient because of overfishing. Therefore, they started importing Norwegian salmon and started making sushi that way instead. Norway. That is actually quite amazing. Like, I'm actually going to Japan soon. I've been before. I live in Asia. I love sushi, sashimi. Salmon sashimi is just one of the best things. I can't wait to go and eat it. I had no idea that it was actually introduced by Norway. It makes sense though, because I know how good Norwegian salmon is, even here in Malaysia. It's, if you're going for the expensive salmon, it's probably going to be Norwegian, possibly even Scottish. I think that's one thing that's similar between Scotland and Norway. We both have great salmon. Tell me, who do you think has the best salmon? I'm sure you probably think Norway. Uh, but really cool that they introduced that and it's such a big part of sushi uh, cuisine, Japanese cuisine uh, in Japan and worldwide. It will allow any student from any country to come and attend a public university or college for free. Of mm. course, they have to qualify for acceptance with grades and courses, but pretty That's much cool. anyone who wants to can find a way to come to Norway and study for free. Awesome. Norway once knighted a penguin. That's right, a penguin. It was an emperor penguin and they named him Colonel in Chief Sir Nils Olav. There is a place in Norway called Hell, popularly frequented by many tourists. In winter time, the temperatures in like Hell that? can go all the way down to 25 degrees negative Celsius, which means that Hell frequently freezes over. <laughs> Norway has a minimum security island prison where the inmates are pretty much free to do whatever they want. They usually have to work for their money and they have to do their chores, but pretty much everything else is up to them. The criminals imprisoned there are among Norway's worst, however they are at the end of their sentence and they're serving out the final days or weeks or years. And their crimes range from fraud to murder to pretty much everything else. In Longyearbyen on Svalbard, dying is actually illegal. This is because the town's small graveyard stopped accepting bodies after they found out that the permafrost in the ground actually stopped the bodies from decomposing. And if you didn't already know, Longyearbyen is the biggest city on the island Svalbard, which is about approximately 950 kilometers away from the northernmost point of Norway. That's about 600 miles. It's also part of the Kingdom of Norway, but it's quite remote and separate. At Christmas time, the people of Oslo, Norway, every year donate the Christmas tree that is so proudly stood in Trafalgar Square, mm. London. This is a thank you from Norway to England for helping them during the Second World War. In 1990- Yeah, someone told me about that in the comments. I think I also may have seen it mentioned in a previous video as well, but yeah, I think that's a fantastic thing and that's so important. Trafalgar Square is such an important part of London uh, for tourists to go and visit, especially during the Christmas season, to know that uh, tradition lives on and has went for so long and it's such a nice part of that relationship between Britain and uh, Norway as well. I really enjoy that. Tell me what you think about that. Is there any sort of reciprocal thing to say thank you from the UK? Does the UK do anything for Norway to say thank you In for 1999, that? Norway refused the extradition of a US drug smuggler. That's because they meant that the prisons in the US didn't meet the minimum humanitarian standards. The that fancy glass bottle boss water that many people drink is just regular drinking water from the municipal county of Iveland in Norway. And Yeah, that one when I heard, I was like quite blown away because you see that in... The US is like a premium water, but it's just normal water in Norway. Like that really says a lot about a lot of different things, the economy, culture of those countries, uh, the mentality of the people. Uh, yeah, really cool man, great fresh Finally, water in Norway. Finally, Norway has the biggest collection of gold, silver and bronze medals of any country from all of the Winter Olympics. Not really surprised am I, even though I can't ski. Mm. So there we go, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Well, a Norwegian that can't ski, that's interesting in itself, but uh, yeah, that one I knew about. Obviously, I watched a video before about the success of Norway in the Winter Olympics, and it's just such a great system that Norway has. 
uh, really from young, just developing people in the Winter Olympics, de developing sports people, uh, and it just helps, obviously, the things like skiing are so pre prevalent in Norway as well. Great success for Norway in the Winter Olympics, very, very good. Uh, tell me what you think about these facts. Is there any other ridiculous facts about Norway that you think people should know? If there is, tell me in the comments. I keep recommending more videos about Norway. Thanks.